Are you trying to catch those summertime bass and it's getting kind of difficult with all the wakeboard boats and jet skis and all the people around? Sometimes summertime fishing can be a little tough. That's why I'm on the creek today and I'm going to go out here and try and catch some bass and relax. Coming up. That's a good one. This is a real good one. What's up everybody, Derek here from the Bass Factory bringing you the best tips and tools to help you become a better angler. If you're new here, you really should consider hitting that subscribe button. Well today, I am in a place of pure beauty. I am in the Ozarks, originally where I'm from, and I'm going back to my basics. I'm going to go out here and I'm just going to go fishing in this cool, crisp, clear water and try to catch some smallmouth or some largemouth or something. There's all kinds of fish that live in here. And you'd be surprised at how big some of the fish can be in some of these places. Um, my bet, one of my best smallmouth actually came out of this creek right here and it was four pounds. And it's kind of surprising if you see the size of it, but the beauty around here is unbelievable. And I'm gonna be working a split shot rig and a rooster tail, two creek lures that you cannot go wrong with. So let's get out here and go fishing because I'm ready and it's hot, summertime hot, dog days of summer hot. Let's go. All right, that's my rooster tail. This is a sixth ounce. I usually use an eighth ounce, but I want it a little bit heavier so I can get a little bit quicker retrieves maybe and drop it down a little bit quicker. But these fish should be feeding. There's actually been a smaller smallmouth look like that was actually working bait fish around here. So it's a drop off right in here. So I'm gonna try that out. I've got two rods. I've got one, one rod in my hand. It's just the Abu Garcia. Just nothing special about it. I got braid on here. I'm not going to worry about the fish seeing it in this clear water with braid. But the other one, I've got what my six foot six uh, medium heavy with a um, split shot rig. So I've got a big split shot on there. And I'm going to see if I can use these two lures. And that rod is actually in my backpack right now. So let's go give this a shot. You cannot go wrong with the rooster tail on the creek. And whenever you're fishing creeks, you got to look for these little deeper pockets that's a lot of the times where the bigger fish are hanging out the small mouth are a little bit more current oriented but you can get into those large mouth and rock bass in those little pockets and it looks like where all those trees are up ahead is where our first real big drop off is going to be i just scared a fish there's a little pocket right here I'm just gonna walk and I'm gonna make I'm gonna get through this water. I'm power fishing a little bit more today. I wanna get to these holes. I know that's where the fish are. Beautiful. Oh, looks like a tropical fish. Whew. No, I'm gonna catch one right there. Yep. Just a little guy, but God, these fish are so pretty. I mean, look at those colors. Oh, small mouth. Smally. Smally. Oh, yeah. Ow got me man he's slimy stop that's a good one just a little guy but I'm just glad to be catching some here you go bud that's a good spot for a good one it's 
not real big water, but they like that eddy. Right there, exactly where I was just saying. Yes, even smaller. See you, bud. See, that's exactly why sometimes you need to just take a break from the lake. This exact reason, these fish are so aggressive. I haven't been out here very long at all and I've already just been killing them. Oh, oh there was another smallmouth. And it is the middle of the day. It is 2.20. Hot, hot. Oh, 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 hit it. When you work these rooster tails, you want to slow it just, just reel it as slow as you possibly can. Oh, there's a small mouth right there. A lot of times in this current, just like this, you can just toss in there slow, even slower reel it. The small mouth will sit right below where that current, there's that drop off and there's a little eddy under that current. The small mouth will sit right underneath it. So sometimes you can throw right in that current and they'll just come up and into that current and they'll smash whatever you're throwing and it's sitting in the current or either you throw it in there and let it drift down below it. It's a good spot. Got something. Looks like a smallmouth or something to me. Or is it a chub? It's a chub. These things can get decent size. Some creeks have nothing but these in them. Which is crazy. But they fight good. You can get in some decent sized ones. I mean it looks almost like a smallmouth when it when they hit, but yeah, that's a chub. Oh, on the drop. What did I get? It's a wide little perch. Oh, yeah. Man, these fish are just so pretty. Man, they're lively. Oh, he got it in both lips. That was eating size right there. Oh, Smalley. Exactly where you're supposed to be, right down under that current. Come here, buddy. Gotcha. Let you go right here. He was right down under that current. So whenever you're fishing for smallmouth, know that they they are very current oriented. So they use that to their advantage. There's kind of an eddy that works right here. It looks like it's all current, but under there it's it's still when they stick to the bottom. So This is what you get out of the Ozarks. Nothing but mountains and creeks and springs and hollers and hills and just pretty everywhere. And it took me moving to Texas to appreciate it when I come back. It's just so pretty and everything's green. I mean, it looks like 
monkeys could come out of those woods. It just looks like a rainforest in Central America or something. This place is always so green. It's been a long time since, I, oh man, that water's cold. There's a spring that comes up. This has got to be a spring. Somewhere, springs coming in here, right over there. I see it trickling in. That is a spring. That water is cold. This is some of the most fun fishing I can remember. Because you just come down here with one lure. Make sure you got a backup, but come down here with one lure and you will catch all kinds of fish. Is this a smallie? What is this? Yep. So once a kid learns how to cast, I mean, that's just a pretty fish. Once a kid learns how to cast, you bring them down to a spot like this. This is where memories are made with dads and sons and just families all together. Just people coming together and having fun fishing at places like this. Because you will catch, you're not catching the biggest fish, but you are catching just so many, like cast after cast. It's just amazing. Oh my gosh, that fish hit it on the bank. You aggressive little guy. Let's get you back. That's why it's so much fun. That's crazy. And it doesn't really matter where you cast. I mean, you could just about blind cast in here and those fish go to the bait. They're not even necessarily near it, but they see that flash and they're on it. What we got? Oh, 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 I'll save you. I'll save you. Oh, I mean, there is every species of sunfish in here. Just about. I've caught three different species of sunfish. I mean, that's crazy. Looks like a little deep hole over there. Got one. Man, I only needed one pole today. <sighs> it is hot. I am baking. Ooh, that's a nice little hole right there. Oh, look at this. So many fish. These fish look so tropical. I love catching these things. Look at all of them. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but there's one, two, three, four, five. I mean, so cool. Man, those fish are pretty. I bet you I could catch them. There, two, four, six, eight. These fish are not pressured whatsoever. I'm standing right here. Oh, that water feels good. I don't think I'm gonna quit saying that. Man, this spot is awesome. I mean, look at these bluffs. Just a wall of bluff. There's nobody out here. It's just peaceful. Oh, smallmouth. Landed right on top of him. He just nailed it. Reaction strike. Oh, that's so much fun.
the cool thing about these creeks is here I'll show you. let me release him. Cool thing about these creeks is you can walk and you're not walking through grass like that. I mean, who wants to walk through that? I mean, that is ridiculously thick. And I just seen a copperhead the other day already being here. I just, ain't no way I'm walking through something like that. No way. And there's poison ivy right there. No thank you. <laughs> Even though I'm not allergic. I'm still not going to track through that and take the risk of a snake bite. Look at all this open bank. I mean, it's so easy fishing. And I can't wait to bring Hunter down here someday. That kid begs to go to Arkansas. He wants to come here so badly. On the drop. What did I catch? Whatever this is, is good size. Oh, did it come off? Oh, it came off. I think that was a big small mouth. As soon as it hit the water. <laughs> oh, these perch. They get to be so much fun. Gosh, they disappear in that bottom and then they move. Oh yeah. Got us a smallie. Get off that log. Oh, and he came unhooked. I mean, look at all these. That's small mouth, large mouth. Oh, I still got him. He came undone. God, these fish are beautiful. He got himself hung on that log and then came undone. There are so many fish right here. And they're just sitting in the sun. Ah. Pretty. So many minnows. Look at all the minnows. Wow. There is a spring coming up in here. <laughs> Mr. Largemouth came to the party again. I've caught so many species of fish today. Here we go, bud. Bye. God, I wonder how deep that water is. There is a big one way over there. There's a two or three pounder over there. I can't tell if it's a smallie or... I mean, right here in front of me, there's a large mouth and chasing a small mouth. Love that. You never know what you're going to catch in here. Oh, there's that large mouth right by it. Oh, it spooked him. Is that sucker on a bed or something? It's like patrolling. I think that sucker might be on a bed. The way it's acting. That largemouth has got to be on a bed or something. The way it is acting. Well, that's the end of this journey, the track that I'm going to go down. I'm not going to go any further down the creek. I'm already a couple miles down a creek in the middle of nowhere off a dirt road bridge. So there's absolutely no houses or anyone out here. And just mountainsides, cliffs, this crystal clear creek running right up against this cliff and it just made a little blue pool and that's where I was working on that large mouth. I see a two or three pound smallie swimming around over there. It's just 
awesome little creek, and I love going out on little trips like this, but have you ever done that where you've gone out and you found a peaceful little relaxful place off the map and it's become your little honey hole or your little spot to just go relax? Let me know about it in the comments section below. And if you want to see more Bass Factory videos, check them out here and subscribe for more videos just like this. One.